Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my channel. That is Make the Music. I hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to be building a Green Day guitar tone, a 2000s-ish, early 2010s leaning Green Day guitar tone, although they've had a similar tone throughout the whole career. A cool guitar tone, definitely one of the pioneers of punk rock. Um, the first thing before starting this video in Bias FX2, that's where I'm going to be building out uh, my tone here, uploading it to the tone cloud for you guys to use. Guitar choice is really important. I'm going to be using this uh, Squire here. That I've gotten, it's it's like a $200, $250 Squire. You really need that sort of almost jangly. You can almost hear the wood of the guitar sound. I mean, uh, Billy J, Billy Joel Armstrong, ugh. Billy Joel Armstrong has used like Les Paul Juniors and things like that. So he's used a variety of guitars, but this is kind of a good template to use to get that Green Day guitar sound, especially on like. I would say American Idiot and maybe even 21st Century Breakdown, kind of the trilogy in there. So uh, that's what we're going to be using today. Let's go into the software. So I've got Bias FX2. I've got Bias FX2 opened up here, and that is not a Green Day guitar tone. So oh, let's figure this out. Let's delete all this stuff here. I'll keep the gate. We don't need the compressor. Green Day. I'm thinking Marshalls when I think Green Day. I know they've used like some Vox stuff, some Fender stuff. Uh, every now and again, but when I think of Green Day, I think JCM 800. So let's go to that. There should be a JCM 800 somewhere, right? Okay, so we got the British Lead 800. Let's start with that. So I kind of like that. I am not a fan of this cab, so let's swap out the cab. Let's go with the Plexi 412. Yeah, that's a significant improvement there. Um, so right now we've got like... Okay, that's kind of close. It's got that jangly sound, but like not enough gain at all. So like if I just crank the gain, that's sort of an improvement. It sounds just kind of mushy though. So let's add, I do want to drive pedal. I don't want to go overboard with this. Not a lot of drive, standard settings. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot of drive. Let's do this. All right, that's sounding pretty cool. I am not sold on this JCM 800 model. Let's try this model. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Let's try the Pexi Plexi Glass. Okay, not nearly enough gain on that one. Uh, we get the 1979. I think that's actually my favorite so far, but maybe not the orange cab. Okay, those cabs have way too much low end. I think maybe it was actually the orange cab, but the matching cab that worked with this thing. Let's let's try this again. Go here. Yeah, we're not gonna use uh, <laughs> we're not gonna use the tread plate. Uh, let's go back to this. It's kind of got that mid range push. That's what I'm kind of liking about that. Okay, that's too much low end. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's just get the that. See, that's a lot of gain. Let's get the gain, gain dialed back. Or like, oh, that's not the right <laughs> at all. That sounds pretty cool to me. Um, I don't know any 21st century breakdown riffs. I do know. Guys are such tight players, really underrated. Um, okay. Dialing that in. You want it to like you have to pick really hard to get the gain, but you don't want it to be not gaining enough where it just sounds clanky. Okay, I'm liking that. Now we're gonna need some EQ though. Let's go here. Um, you know what? I always use this EQ. Let's use the studio EQ. Let's see what we can get out of that. All right, I want to boost some mid-range, so 5K, let's try that. A little 
5k boost. I do like that other EQ because it has really easy low and high pass filters. Let's add that in. We don't need anything under 100-ish. You don't need anything above 16K probably. That's sounding really close, really good. Just a little more focus in the mid range. I'm gonna add a little bit of a compressor here just to even things out just a tad. Let's go compressor. I just want a little more presence in the mid range, just a little bit. Not there, more, more like 4K, let's see. That was just a bit too gainy. It's about dialing in. It's about iterations here. All right. Do you have the time to listen to me? Why? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's do a quick playthrough of a riff here. Let's do it. Here's another riff here. That sounds freaking awesome. Let's upload that to the Tone Cloud. So, uh, share to Tone Cloud. Greeny day. Ooh, green day. I'm gonna say 2000s. Sweet, we're gonna put that in the rock category. 2000s green day, let's upload that sucker. Pretty sweet tone, I think. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If there's any other tones you'd like me to match and bias just right off the cuff, not using tone match here, we're building the thing from scratch. Let me know in a comment down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching it. I will see you guys next time.